Hi, I'm Bishop Michael Lowe. And I'm Pastor Kimberly Lowe. We would like to welcome you to Whole Man Ministries, amen, where the Word of God is taught, amen, where the foundation of this ministry is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, where we teach and minister the Word of God to your whole man. Let's go into a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I just thank you, Lord God, for your presence, God. God, I thank you for your spirit now, God. God, I ask God that you remove me, God. Oh, God, that I say nothing that God, your spirit is not saying, God. God, I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for life, God. I thank you, Lord God, for the power and the anointing of your word, God. God, I ask you now, God, to give the people of God an ear to hear, God, what your spirit is saying, God, in this hour, God. And God, I glorify you, God, and I lift you up. In Jesus' name, amen. And praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Go with me to Matthew 5. Glory to God. I'm not going to be before you long. Praise God. I'm going to drop this word. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Matthew 5. And we're going to start, amen, in verse 1. And in Matthew 5, amen, in verse 1, praise God, it picks up, praise God, when Jesus is talking, amen, to his disciples. Amen. And in time, amen, in the Bible days, what, what the Lord would do, amen, he would get the disciples off, amen, to, to themselves, and he would reveal to the disciples, amen, the, the deep things that he had to say. He would reveal to the disciples, amen, different revelation, amen, that the multitude or the crowd amen, couldn't understand. Amen, hallelujah. He would teach them, amen, the pure things of the scriptures, praise God. So verse 5 and 1 says, and seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. So Jesus, amen, he went up into the mountains, praise God, and his disciples began to sit around him. Amen. And how many know, amen, that it's important, amen, that when the man or woman of God, amen, that you are called to hear their voice, when they speak, you listen, praise yes, God. Yes. Amen. It was an honor, amen, for the disciples to sit at Jesus' feet, amen, to hear yes. the undulterated word of God. They didn't take that, amen, for granted. Many times we get common with the voice that God has placed Come in our on. life and we start to disrespect it. Amen. We, our ears become, begin to sometimes get dull. Jeez. Amen. Because we've been in their presence. Amen. And, and sometimes, amen, to us, their voice gets dull. Jeez. But how many know, praise God, that you should never allow your, amen, your leader's voice to get dull. Amen. You should amen. never amen. allow yourself to get common, amen, with the people that God has placed to bless your life. Yes, amen. On. Hallelujah, Jesus. So they begin to sit at the feet of Jesus, and he began to teach them things. Amen. He took them away from the multitude. Amen. And began to explain to them the different things that, amen, he meant when he went into Scripture. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Go down to verse 13. <laughs> In verse 13, this is going to be my key verse. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God began to tell the disciples when he set them down. He began to say, blessed are you if you do this. Blessed are you when men come against you. Blessed are you when all these things begin to come up against you. So he went on down and he began to explain to the disciples, amen, what he meant. And he began to break the word down to them. He got to verse 13. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He said, ye are the salt of the earth. And we know that salt is used to flavor our food. Salt is also used as a preservative. Yes. Amen. He began to tell them, ye are the salt of the earth. Amen. And I don't know if, if any of you all ever had salt, amen, that got old. Amen. You know, they have that box, you know, if you get the uh, Morton kind of salt, they got the lady with the umbrella, the little girl with the umbrella. Uh -huh. If you let salt set up too long, it begins to clump up and dry up and you can't use it. Amen. So you got to throw the whole box away. Amen. Because the salt is out of date. Amen. God began to tell them, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salty? Come on. What was Jesus telling them? You are the salt of the earth. Yes. Amen. 
you are my people. Yeah. Amen. I've chosen you, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. To, to, to preserve. I've, I, 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 I've chosen you, amen, to be the flavor, the savor. But if you've lost your savor, Come on. Jesus. then wherewith shall it be salty? Yeah. It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Yes. What was Jesus saying? I've given you everything you need. But if you've lost your power, if you lost your anointing, yes. amen, if you've lost your ear to hear, Jesus. what good are you to me? How can I use you? I can't use you to go into the highways and the byways because you've lost the very thing that I've given you to draw people. Yes. You're good for nothing just to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Jesus. That means nobody's hearing you. Amen. You're not effective Hallelujah. anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Your excuses, your, your, your dull of hearing, your, your excitement, amen, is gone, and I can't use you. My God. Verse 14 said, ye are the light of the world. Hallelujah. A city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. When God gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit, he put a light in us, amen, that's supposed to shine, amen, and be illuminated, and that people will look upon us and see, amen, that we are the children of God. Yes. But if your light is dim, who gonna see it? If you've lost your savor, who's gonna see it? Who's gonna be affected? Amen, who's gonna be affected? Amen, if you've lost the light and the salt that God has given you, in verse 15, it says, Neither do men light a candle and put it on a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Yes. You're supposed to be a light to your family. You're yes. supposed to be a light to your friend. God has given us, and we can't take this lightly. God has given us everything we need. Everything that pertains to, to, to our life. He's given it to us when he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But what are you doing with the gift? What are you doing with the power that he's given you? What are you doing with your oil? What are you doing with the anointing? Jesus, my God. Is it laying dormant? My topic today is what happened. Come on, my God. What happened? Mm. Amen. My when I was coming up, amen, first got into holiness, they had this song said, Oh, Zion. What's the matter now? You don't pray like you used to. You don't sing like you used to. Amen. You don't pray, you don't preach like you. What happened? What's the matter? Jesus. God is saying to us today, what happened? Jesus. What happened? What happened to you that when you, amen, that changed you? Come on. Amen. Because when you first got saved, you was on fire for me. Yes. When you first heard of me, you believed everything my word said, praise God. Yes. Amen. When you first got saved, yes, Lord. nobody could stop you from proclaiming the, the word of God. Nobody could tell you that God is not greater. Nobody, amen, could dim your light, praise God. What has happened God. that you stopped believing God? What happened? <clears throat> Verse 16 said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Yes. Who is seeing your good works? Are you there? Who looks at your life and be glorified through it? Who looks at you, amen, when you talk and say, I want to be like them. I want to, amen, I want to serve the God that they serve, praise God. Yes. Amen, I want to get some of what they got, praise God. Amen, or are you playing with God? My God. Amen, when people see you, amen, do they see a hypocrite? Amen. When people see you, amen, do they see a person that's pretending to be? My God. Amen. He said, amen, let your light shine. He began to tell them, I need you to let your light shine so when men look upon you, I will be glorified. Yes. We got to point everything back to Jesus. It's not about us. Amen. God wants to use our life, amen, so he can shine through us. Not that we can put on a public display of, oh, oh, I'm so great. No, it's the, the greater one is inside of us. Yes. Jesus is inside of us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. We will never be able to 
to obtain all that God has for us. Uh -huh. Fake it. Come on. Shake yeah. it. Not humbling ourselves. Amen. Not knowing who we are. Not, amen, taking on the full sonship and understanding what sonship is. Yes. We will never be able to be that light that God is saying. God said, I want to use you. Amen. I didn't die, amen, for you, amen, to just walk around and do nothing. Come on. I didn't die, amen, for you to have everlasting life, amen, and you wasted. My Lord. I died, amen, so you can go, amen, and make disciples. Yeah. I died so you can have everlasting life. I died, amen, so you can have power, yes. amen, to draw. Hallelujah. Is your light even on? Come on. Oh, my, my God. God. What happened to your light? My Lord. What happened to your praise? Amen. What happened to your prayer life? What happened to your dedication? My God. Glory to God. Where did it go? Yes, Lord. Who caused you to stumble? Amen. Who bewitched you? Come on. Amen. Who My attitude God. are you taking on? Amen. Who is in your ear? Amen. Stopping you from doing the things of God. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. We are the light of the world. Yes. But it's sad to say that many of us have lost our sight. Many of us have lost our light. We're good for nothing. Amen. God can't even use us. We can't even be used by God. Amen. We're unclean. Amen. We're unlearned. Amen. We're unteachable. Praise God. Amen. We always got, amen, problems. Amen. Uh, with, with, with the word. Problems with the man of God. Problems with the woman of God. Problems with each other. Praise God. We walking around, amen, in a cloud. My God. When God said, I meant for you to be the light. I want you to be the light on your job. Yes. Amen. What happened? Amen. Glory to God. You ain't got to be emotional. Amen. But what happened? Amen. When the, when the word of God was coming forth. Amen. When the name of Jesus was being called. People were getting healed. Praise God. People were getting delivered. Didn't nobody have to lay hands on you. Amen. Didn't nobody have to go on a 40 day fast. Praise God. But you took God at his word. You believe God. What happened church? What happened to your dedication? Yes. Come what on. happened to your faithfulness? Come on. Yes. What made you turn your back on God? Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. What made you not want to hear the word of God? What, what happened? My God. And you know, we all have a story. Uh-huh. We all can say, well, well, this situation happened. I was hurt at church. Amen. This happened. Listen. Take full ownership of some things. We got to stop pointing the finger at what somebody else did. Because when you meet Jesus, he's not going to ask you, well, what did they do? He's going to say, what did you do? What did you do with the gifts and talents that I gave you? Amen. You know, we can't, We got to stop this foolishness. We worry about everybody else. And our light is getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Yes. And people say, I don't even want to serve the God they serve. Amen. If they can club, amen. If they can cuss, if they can drink, amen. Why do I want to even be there? Why do I want to be like that? Come on. Hallelujah. God is a God of order. He's a God. He don't make no mistakes. He's a God that if he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Well, why hasn't it happened? Well, could it be that you're the problem? Could it be that you're standing in the way of the promises of God? Amen. The man of God, amen. Bishop began to talk last night about the love of Jesus. That Jesus loves us so much that no matter what we've done, he's yet saying, I love you. He's yet saying, come back to me. He's yet saying, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm married to you. I'm married to the backslider. Amen. I love you so much, amen, that I'm waiting on you, praise God. I love you so much, amen, that I sent my only begotten son. Yes. What happened? What happened? My God. Amen, that you allow your circumstances and the people that you are around turn, make you turn your back on God. Come on. What happened that when, you know, Armadillo, amen, they, they blend into their situation. Whatever's going on, you know, that's what they do. They, yeah. they, whatever their circumstances is. Uh -huh. They got some animals in the animal, animal kingdom that, say, for instance, a lizard, and he's on this backdrop, and he's green. But he has the ability, amen, to, amen, turn himself to be gray. Uh -huh. 
when he feels threatened. Some of us are just like that. Amen. When we with the saints, we on fire. Amen. When we with the saints, amen. When we come up in this church, amen. Or when we go, amen, to another church or whatever, we on fire. Amen. But as soon as we get in our car, as soon as we get away from around the saints, praise God. Amen. We acting just like the people that's around us. Amen. We're conforming, amen, to people and places and things. Amen. We're scared to let our light shine. Preach the word. Yes. What makes us scared to let the light shine that Jesus has given us? My God. The spirit of rejection will cause you, amen, to dumb down, amen, and agree with worldly people because you're scared you won't be accepted and rejected. I mean, accepted into what they got going on. Yeah. Your father in heaven was rejected by me. Come on. But guess what? Yet he he, he kept going. Yes. He was rejected. They didn't want to be around him. Amen. They talked about him. Amen. They tried to kill him every chance they got. Praise God. Amen. But he kept going. Amen. Because he knew his assignment. Come on. Come on. What's stopping you from committing? Amen. Fulfilling your assignment. Yes, Lord. Who's stopping you? What happened to you? Where is that person, amen, that when you, amen, when God said do it, you did it, no questions. Yes, Lord. Where is that person, amen, that stood for what was right, praise God. Yes, Lord. What happened? What happened? My God. The love of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. As I begin to look at the people last night that were receiving. Amen. What the man of God was saying about the love of Jesus. Amen. That no matter what, who do you know? That no matter what you do, they're going to love you anyway. Yes, Lord. Amen. No matter how many times you mess up on them, amen, they still going to take you yes, back. Lord Jesus. Who do you know that will forgive you? No questions asked. Yes, Lord. Amen. That he said, if you repent, amen, I won't even remember what you did anymore. Yes, Lord Jesus. Who do you know that love you that much? My God. But yeah, we don't want them. We don't want nobody that loves us like that. Amen. Jesus, amen, began to go. He knew his assignment. Yes, Lord. He began to go through the roughest time in his life. Yes, Lord. And Bishop talked about the wilderness. But I think this was a little bit more harder than that wilderness. Because we know in that wilderness, amen, he had to come up against that resistance. Amen. So he could get the power, the glory, and the oil. Hallelujah. But Jesus... He took his disciples, the three, I think it was um, James, John, and help me out. Who was the other three? The other person? Peter. Peter. And he began, amen, they began to go to the Garden of Gethsemane. And those are the three that Jesus would take with him, with him, when he really wanted, amen, some intimate time and to, and to explain some things and just talk to them. Yes. He loved all his disciples. Amen. But he would oftentimes get those three, amen, together and talk to them. And he knew his assignment. Uh -huh. And he knew that he was going to go through a trial and a test, amen, that his flesh didn't really want to go through. Come on. Amen. See, sometimes, amen, we know the assignment. Yes. We know, amen, that our spirit is willing, but our flesh is weak. Yes. Our flesh sometimes gets jacked up, amen, because we refuse to submit. We refuse to humble ourselves. We refuse to pray. We refuse to be that light. Come on. See, I'd rather be dull and hang with the with the click of the familiar people. Yes, Lord. Come on. I'll dull myself down and not let my light shine because I want you to approve of me. I want to be around you because you seem like you hip and you popular. So I'm not going to let my light shine. I'm not going to tell you who I really am. I'm not going to walk in who I really am. Because I want my co-workers to like me. I want my boss to approve of me. But let me tell you something. If Jesus don't approve of you, I don't care who. Say, you okay. You're not okay. I would rather, uh, I would rather please Jesus any day than to get the approval of man. Because man can't place me nowhere. Yeah. I know that if God promote me, amen, I'm going to stay there, praise God. Yeah. Amen. But he began to go through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he told his disciples, amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if y'all hearing that, but I'm hearing an echo. Glory to God. And he began, amen, to pray. And it said that he prayed to, to sweat, look, 
that looked like big drops of blood. Uh -huh. He was in agony. Because he knew his assignment was to go to the cross come and on, die come on. Yeah. for a people that wouldn't even appreciate come him. On. He yeah. knew what his assignment was. My God. What happened to you knowing My what God. your assignment is that's sticking through? Yeah. What happened to you saying, My God, God, amen, I'll go. Amen, when you want me to go. Amen. What happened to your yes that you gave the Lord? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He began to tell them, listen, and I'm going to paraphrase. I'm about to be taken up. Amen. I'm about to be, amen, captured. Amen. I need y'all to pray with me. Amen. I need y'all to have my back. Amen. Hallelujah. Just for a little while, I need you to stay woke. I need you to be on post, praise God. I need you to be true to this assignment, praise God. Because I'm about to be offered up, praise God. And my flesh is weak. My flesh don't want to go. My God. But if you could just pray me through. They couldn't even pray him through. They kept falling asleep on their assignment. Yeah. They kept falling asleep on their post. This was a man that they walked with and they knew he was, that he was the real deal. My God. And they couldn't even stay woke. They fell asleep. And they kept falling asleep on Jesus. And he began to go to the Father. And he began to pray. Amen. And that's a lonely place, amen, when, when you got help but you ain't got no help. Amen. These were people that he poured into. Amen. This was people that he got them out of situations. Amen. These are people, amen, that saw him work miracles. Praise God. Yeah. These are people, amen, that saw him open up de uh, the deaf and dumb ears. Praise God. Uh -huh. These are people that knew yes. that he was legit. Yeah. And yet they couldn't stay woke. Couldn't stay woke. So he began to pray to the Father. Amen. I could imagine Jesus kept going back and forth. I know the assignment, but I don't want to go through this pain. I know, God, God, why I'm here. I know, amen, that you want me to go and die for these people. I know, but amen, just thinking about the nails, amen, going into my flesh. Just thinking about how they're going to ridicule me, how they're going to spit on me. Yeah. Just thinking about the opposition and the resistance that I'm going to go oh. through doing your assignment. Oh, God. Hmm. But God, if you don't take this cup from me, and if you don't see fit to let me escape this thing that you're asking me to do, yeah. nevertheless, where is your nevertheless? Come on, come what on. happened to your nevertheless? He said, nevertheless, yes. not my will, yes, Lord. but let your will be done. Will. What happened to that? Amen. When you first got saved, you said, God, amen, I don't care. Who turned against me? God, I'm going to do, do your will. What happened? Yes, God. What happened to you? Yes, God. What took place? Mm. What took place in your life? Can you go back to that place? What happened? That you don't hear the voice of God like you used to. What happened that you can't stay woke? That you can't pray? My God. What happened, amen, that you can't have your brother and sister back? What happened that you would rather have the world? Then have God. My God. What happened to God? Not my will. Yeah, God, I want to do this. My flesh want to cut up. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to live like this, God. Amen. I want you. But God, it's hard. It gets hard sometimes. God, I need you. It gets hard. I keep falling, God. But nevertheless, God, I'll do this thing for you if you'll just strengthen me. Amen. God begin to tell, amen, his father. I didn't ask these people to pray with me. Uh -huh. I didn't ask these people to have my back at my brother's time. Uh -huh. Amen. And they keep falling asleep. Every time I go back, they sleep. Sleep. But Father. Ooh, my God. My God. But Father. If you don't take this cup, this is a hard thing. And I know it's going to glorify you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. This is a rough thing that you're asking me to do. You're asking me to deny my flesh. Yes. Amen. I don't want to, amen. My flesh don't want to live saved. you asking me to crucify my flesh. you asking me, amen, to go, amen, and give myself up for a people. Praise God. Amen. That I don't even know it. Amen. They don't know me. Yes. But his love and his commitment made him say, not my will. How many of, of, of us are going by what we want to do? 
When we don't feel like it, we don't do it. My God. We just don't. You're not coming against the person that asked you to do it or the person, amen, that you told you would do it. You're coming against the Father who gave you the assignment. Oh, what happened? What happened to the joy of your salvation? What happened, amen, to that joy you used to have? Yeah. Amen. When you said, I was glad when they said unto me, yeah. let us go into the house of the Lord. Who are you watching, amen, that have made you, amen, turn from your assignment? Come on. My Lord. Woo. Jesus. Why is your flesh more alive than your spirit, man? Are you there? What has happened? Yes, Lord. I want you to ask yourself, what happened? What happened to that person? Yeah. Amen. That used to be so happy. That used to be joyous. Amen. That found, amen, joy in just praying. That were pray for hours, yeah. praise God. Amen. They didn't even care to be seen, praise God. What happened, amen, to that person, amen, that, that was savored so? Yeah. That people looked at you and knew you had been in the presence of God. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever experienced that? Or are you just merely coming to church? My God. Merely making it. My God. Barely praying. Barely submitting. Yes. Barely standing. My Lord. What happened? What happened? He said, pray with me. And after a minute, he was just like, you know what? Y'all just stay sleep. Because they already here. They already here because Judas had betrayed him. Yes. They're already here and I'm already about to be offered up. So you might as well just stay asleep. What is the Lord saying today? It's going to come a time when it's going to be. You might as well just continue doing what you're doing. Uh -huh. Because God, he keeps coming after us. He keeps yes. coming after us. We keep falling. We keep making mistakes because we're human. But he keeps coming hard after us. He keeps calling us into repentance. Yes. He keeps saying, I'm with you. I love you. I'm here for you. Come on, pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. Amen. It's going to get better. Get your eyes off a of man. Come on. He keeps calling us and calling us. Oh, there. Yes. But when he cracked that sky, uh -huh. amen, you might as well keep on doing what you're doing because it's too doing. late. Yes. It's going to be too late to repent. Yeah. Amen. It's going to be too late. Amen. You might as well do it while the blood is running warm in your body. Uh -huh. Amen. You might as well, amen, hallelujah, repent and come to Christ. Yes. What happened? Whose blood is on your hands? Oh, my God. Oh. What assignment? What test are you failing? Because you refuse to submit. You refuse to make your flesh, amen, do and line up. See, you have the authority. Mm -hmm. You can make this flesh do what you want it to do. But if you ain't got no power, if you ain't got no prayer life, yes. amen, if you're not full of the Holy Ghost, how can you stand against the wiles of the enemy? Mm -hmm. How you gonna make it? That means you toss and, and, and turn every wave, every doctrine that comes. Every time somebody says, let's do this, amen, hallelujah, you ain't got no willpower. <clears throat> yes. But he loves us. Yes. He loves us enough to send a message like this. Uh-huh. He loves us enough. Hallelujah. To say, I'm coming after you hard again. He loves us enough to make death behave. He loves us enough, amen, to forgive us of our sins. He loves us enough to say, yeah, you're making idols, amen, out of people, places, and things. Amen, but I love you. Amen, hallelujah, I'll move heaven and earth for you. Amen, amen. amen. because I love you. Amen. And I want you to be with me. Yeah. He went to that cross. And he endured the pain. He endured the agony for you and me. He defeated death. My God. He defeated grave for you and me. And when we got up, I mean, when he got up, guess what? We got up in him. Yes. 
We are joint heirs with Christ. Yeah. Amen. We are a man. We've been adopted into his family. Amen. But we're still acting like orphans. Come on. Jesus. We're still acting like we don't have a father. Oh, yeah, we're still acting like we don't have a, a heavenly father that loves us. Yeah. But he's saying, come back to me. Return unto me. Amen. I'm committed to you. Be committed to me. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm ready, amen, to take you to another dimension in me. But I need you to give me another chance yeah. to prove to you that I'm God. Come on. Yeah. Mm. Stop turning your back on me. Yeah. Stop letting your emotions get the best of you. Yeah. Stop letting your feelings get in the way. Stop letting your feelings dictate, amen, if you're going to pray today. Stop letting your feelings dictate, amen, if you're going to love your neighbor. Come on. Yes. Yeah. What happened? My God. What happened? What happened? What happened? what happened? what happened to Lord? Not my will. I don't want to, amen, God, do what I want to do, but I want to do what you called me to do. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Why we make so many excuses? Why we can't obey God? Oh, yes. Glory to God. What happened? Mm. What happened? No, no, no. What happened to the motivation? What happened? Come on, come on. Who happened? Who? Who? Oh, my God. Who is it that made you turn your back on God? Who is it? I want you to think, are they worth it? <laughs> Have you ever been in a relationship and, and you look back and say, what was I thinking? Are you there? Oh. Why would I, that ain't even my type. Why would I even waste my time? Come on. Who has bewitched you? That you think that a, the truth is a lie and the lie is the truth. Yes. Who has bewitched you? Who has got in your ear to make you, amen, not even be able to hear from God? My God. Oh. Who has got in your ear that's making you miss yes. what God is saying that's taking you off your post? Mm -hmm. What attitude? Yes, Lord. What emotion? Oh, my God. What problem? What circumstances? Amen, because we already know that God is bigger. Yes. He's bigger than anything you can face. He said, if I be with you, if I be for you, I'm more than the whole world against you. Yes, Lord. So we got, we winning. We got Jesus. Oh, yeah, man. We can make it. What happened? My God. Why don't you ask yourself that? What happened? What happened to me? Why did I allow that situation to get me to this point where I can't even do what God wants me to do? Yes, Lord. That I'm no longer the salt of the earth. Yes, Lord. That I'm no longer a light that's shining. That I don't even want to hear from God. That I don't even want to go to church. That I don't even want to hear anything about church. That I don't even want to hear the word of God. Forget about coming yes. to the building. Yes. Amen. I don't even want to be in the presence of God no more. What did God do to you? He loves you. What did he do? But when we get ourselves in a situation, we want to blame God. My God. Hallelujah. My prayer today is that you think about it. What happened? And whatever happened, whoever happened, whatever the situation is, it's not too hard for God to fix. Yes, Lord. He's a great God. Yes. Yeah. He's a great God. He loves us so much. Yeah. I'm not going to die for you. That's it. I love you, but I don't love you that much. Mm. I'm not going to, amen, get nails in my head and, 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 and set up and get spit on and thorns in my head and, and die. And, and I'm not going to do that for you. Amen. I don't know nobody else that's going to do that for you. Yeah. My God. Jesus. That's it. Thought you were a doctor. Uh -huh. He loved you so much. He said, you know what? I know they're going to need me. Uh -huh. I know they can't see it right now. Amen. But I know they're going to need a Savior. Come on. So I'm going to die for them. Amen. I'm going to go to this cross. Amen. I'm going to take, oh, take this cup and I'm going to drink it for them. My God. 
Amen. Because I know they're going to get in situations where it seems hopeless. Yes, I know, amen, they're going to feel worthless. Amen. I know they're going to be rejected. Oh, amen. I know they're going to have sickness in their body. I know they're going to get yes, confused Jesus. and they're going to need a Savior. Yes, Thank you, Lord. But every time Hallelujah. we turn our back on God, yes, God. it's like we say we don't appreciate what you did for us. Yes, God. Amen. You didn't do nothing. That was nothing. That's an easy task. Uh -huh. But look around you. Check your circle out. Check out the people that you talk to on a daily basis. Sometimes y'all can't stand each other. Sometimes y'all have disagreements and stop talking. Yes, God. But God said, I'll never leave you. Never leave you. I will never leave you no matter what you do. Never. Because I love you with an everlasting love. Yes, Lord. What kind of love is that? That denies his own self and come for us. That's it. What man you know? Amen. That's gonna keep on taking you back. Keep uh, on taking you back. Uh, you mess up, you mess up, you uh, mess up. And they keep on taking you back. And they still love you yes, Lord. the way they supposed to. Yes, Lord. What woman you know gonna keep on taking you back? Some people you mess up one time, they gone. That's it. That's it. Gone. Or you mess up, amen, they're gonna do what they do and make you think that, that everything's still fine. Yes. But God said, I'll never switch up on you. Come on. I'll never backstab you. Amen. I'll never leave you. I'll never put another before you. Yes. What happened? What happened? What happened? Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whoever it is. Amen. I want you to make a conscious decision. To ask God to help you in that area. To restore you. Amen. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. I want you, amen, to ask God, amen, to restore you. Amen. You may be looking at this replay. Amen. You may be on Facebook. You may be on YouTube. Amen. I don't care where you at. I don't care what situation you in. You can be in a hotel. Amen. About to take a drug overdose. You could be high on crack cocaine. Amen. You could be in a situation where you think don't nobody love you. Don't nobody care. Amen. You could have been, amen, molested, raped. Amen. You could be, amen, sick in your body. Amen. Whatever the situation is, wherever you stopped trusting and believing God. I'm here to let you know that it wasn't God's fault. It ain't that God don't love you. Yeah. But situations happen to us all. Yeah. Amen. You have a choice in how you live your life. You have a choice. You're going to either let what you went through build you. Amen. Or you're going to let it destroy you. Yeah. But I'm here to let you know that if you make up in your mind. Amen. That the things that you went through, you're going to use it to build you. That God, if you just give him a fresh yes, if you just give him a rededication, if you just give him a new faithfulness, then he'll do the rest. He'll work it out for you. He'll turn that situation around. If you will stop being bitter, if you will stop blaming others on how your life has taken a turn, if you will take on some ownership, you may say, well, that wasn't my fault. What happened to me? But somehow you keep blaming yourself. If it was out of your control, forgive yourself. Allow the Father to heal you. Yes. Allow the Father, amen, the one that you lift your hands up to, the one that you sing to, the one that you pray to, the one that, amen, you say called you to preach. Do you not trust him enough to heal you? Yes. Yes. Do you not trust him enough to put you on a potter's wheel to make you over? Do you not trust him enough to keep your flesh? Yes, your flesh is your worst enemy. Yes, God. Your flesh, the inner you, is your worst enemy because this flesh wants what it wants. The flesh wants pleasure. It wants monetary, it wants a short lived pleasure. But God said, I come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. That means you don't have to suffer. You don't have to want. You don't have to be in despair. You don't have to walk around, amen, with a chip on your shoulder. Amen. You can serve God in gladness and in joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you don't have to, amen, have a form of godliness, but deny yeah. his power. Yeah. You can be saved for real. You can be on fire for real. Yeah. Amen. You're not lame for serving God. Amen. You're not, amen, crazy for wanting, amen, a man of God. Amen, a woman of God, a person, amen, that is called after God. Because, baby, let me tell you, if they don't love God, they can't love you. Amen. 
You are not alone. Oh, no. The Father, yes, Jesus, is here. Yes. He's wherever you are. Yes. All you got to do is surrender. Yes, All you got to do is surrender. Stop taking the things of God so lightly. Yes, Stop taking the, the presence of God so lightly. Yes, Stop. Yes, Get some Holy Ghost boldness. Stop letting people bring you negativity. Jesus. Stop letting the devil stop you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. The power of God is real. Yes, yes, and I don't care who don't believe it. I know him to be real. Yes. I know him to be true. Yes, Amen. I know him to be faithful. Amen. He's brought me out some situations, praise God. Amen. That if I told you about, praise God, you probably just sit down in your seat and just mouth wide open. Yes, Lord. I know him to be a deliverer. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I know him to be the liberal yes, for my head. Amen. I know him to amen as a forgiver. Amen. I know, praise God, when I felt my lowest. Amen. When I didn't feel worthy, praise God. Amen. I know he picked me up, praise God. And he placed my feet on solid ground. Oh, yes. He didn't give up on me. Hallelujah. People may have given up, but God didn't give up on me. Yes. He didn't give up on you. Come on, yes. come on. Amen. He brought you out of every situation. Yes, yes sir. My God. Hallelujah. So what do you do? Thank what you. gratitude do you show for somebody that loves you yes, that much? Yes, God. We go and we buy flowers and we buy candy and we and we give people gifts and stuff that don't even, amen, you turn around, they're talking about you, they mistreat you, amen, they're texting about you, amen, but the Father who loves us, that adopted us, amen, that said, these are mine. Oh, yes. Bless you, Jesus. We give a part-time excess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. God, I ask you to touch your people now, God. God, I bind up the enemy, God, that comes to steal, kill, and destroy them. God, give us, God, oh, God, a, a, a way of escape, God. Oh, God, that we can hear you like never before, God. Oh, God, that we can surrender to you, God. Oh, God, you are loving and a great God. And God, hallelujah, Jesus, we surrender our will, God. Not our God, but let your will be done, God. Heal, God. Deliver and set free on today, God. Oh, God, your oh God, by your anointing, God, destroy the yokes off of your people, God. Destroy the yokes off of their minds, God. Destroy the yokes off of their bodies, God. In the name of Jesus. Rebuke the enemy from them, God. Lord, yes. love God to say yes. Give them a conscious mind to say yes, God. Give them a conscious mind to surrender, God. Oh, yes. Surrender to you full heartedly, God. Yes, God. Wholeheartedly, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God, I pray. Amen that God, amen that you will allow the spirit of God Amen to take over today. Amen that you will allow his presence. Amen to rebuild you. Amen that you will allow his presence to engulf you. Amen that you will have a new mind frame. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hello, everyone. We want to thank you for tuning in to our broadcast. Uh, we pray that the word of the Lord has been a blessing to you and your family. We will continue to pray for you uh, as you continue to listen in to our broadcast. God bless. If you have a prayer request, we can be reached at wmanministries at gmail.com. Again, that's wmanministries at gmail.com, all lowercase. Also, if you would like to donate or support the ministry, you can also um, do that at our cash app, and that's dollar sign, whole man ministries, and that's all caps. Again, dollar sign, whole man ministries, and that's all caps. Thank you.